Sabah everybody and welcome back to the channel. Last week I posted a video for you guys with a quick hands-on of the brand new features of Android 12. Now some of those changes were very cosmetic, there are a lot of things that were under the hood. I want to share with you guys today some of the hidden features that could be coming to Android 12. This is TK, let's check that out. Like and subscribe and make sure you hit that bell icon so that you're always notified to whenever we have new videos on the channel. So we're still using the same two devices. On the right, we have the Pixel 5 running Android 11 with the latest version of basically the latest security patch update as of February 5th. On the left, we have a Pixel 4a running Android 12 developer preview one with some features that are turned on. And first and foremost, we'll notice is obviously is the lock screen. So the lock screen looks a little bit different. You'll notice the placement of the clock, the widget on the top, as you see, the notification is pretty much the same but that's something new that we'll notice with uh, the developer preview. So this was not turned on by default. We did have to turn that on, but once it was turned on, it looks definitely very nice. Let me know in the comments below what do you think. So the first thing we'll start by talking is but basically a wallpaper theming option. So that's the ability of actually customizing our notification panel or the notification toggle area uh, with the color of the wallpaper that you're using. On the right, we're noticing that it's pretty much just the standard, either white or dark color if you turn on dark mode. But on the left, it's actually themed and it's pulling some of those colors from the actual wallpaper. Meaning if I go in here and go into styles and wallpapers, go into wallpapers, and of course, we're going to go ahead and change the wallpaper to let's say something a little bit more blue tonish. I'll apply that right there. I'm just going to say to the home screen, I'll give it a second to apply. And right there, it applied it right away. But you'll notice that the notification shade now changes color with it. So that's something that's definitely very nice. And I'm really liking this new feature as opposed to just having more of a static look. On top of the fact that it's a little bit more transparent, as you notice right there, we're able to see through it. So theming is going to be something that hopefully can come through with Android 12 for us. And it looks like it's going to be seamless. All you have to do is customize your wallpaper and it takes over the UI element. Now, from there, we're going to talk about the notification shade. If we swipe down from the top, we'll notice that there is basically a message here. So the first thing we'll notice is that there is the option of snoozing. That's something we covered for you guys last week. But normally, whenever we swipe, we do a half swipe on this on a tab. So let's say we do halfway. You usually have the settings option to be able to get into the settings tab for this notification. Uh, one of the new options that we have within Android 12 that wasn't available last week is the ability of actually dismissing it by just doing a half swipe. It does take it right away. You don't actually have to do the swipe all the way. You just basically do barely a half and it takes away the settings option from it. And it's also something nice in case you just don't want to be able to have that halfway. You can swipe notifications much faster and simply with the new UI element. Uh, the other thing we'll notice also is there's a couple of new toggles in here that are specific to microphone and camera functionality. You're able to actually disable block camera or block microphone system-wide directly from using this toggle in the notification shade. Uh, you'll also notice that the notification brightness uh, slider here is also very different. It's more of a kind of a bar that fills in with the sun with the uh, the sun logo, I guess, on the in the middle of it, as opposed to it being in the middle of the actual UI. So. Definitely some nice options here, the way they look. And of course, uh, all of these things are not currently turned on in developer preview. So if you try to install it and turn it on, it doesn't actually show up some of these options. But let's go ahead and jump into the settings tab, which of course is one of the other UI elements that was changed from last week. Uh, and it's the fact that this is the new UI element that we see here. Now you have the option of using more of a standard mode, or you can turn this one up. Uh, but again, this feature is currently not available directly with the developer preview. You do need to turn that on. And once you have that in there, you still have access to all of the same options. Of course, the safety and uh, emergency tab is also present here, which is one of the new ones that we saw last week. Now, I do want to talk about the fact that there is a new UI element, which essentially is the ability of using one handed mode. So here, if I just do a swipe down halfway and right across to the bottom, you'll notice that the UI element ever so nicely shifts down. So all of it goes back. I can swipe back down. I can do the exact same thing and it goes back. Now, the good thing about it is it also kind of works with the main UI element and it's intended to make things with devices that are a lot bigger than this obviously not the Pixel 4a or the 5, uh, to be easier to use one-handed. So definitely a very much one-handed focus experience from the UI element in the settings tab all the way to the actual system. Uh, but you have to kind of get used to the whole, uh, not just tapping, but actually swiping down. So looks really nice and definitely very easy to activate once it's available in our Android 12. Now the permission manager is something that we're typically used to seeing as normal, where obviously we go through, we have all the different permissions and what you're able to use. Uh, one of the new elements that are saw here that is not necessarily available for usage because it says internal use for debugging only um, is this UI element. And we're not sure if this is going to be something that is going to be coming as part of the permanent uh, system. And I'm talking about the UI element, not necessarily the debugging mode. 
uh, but this is definitely something interesting to check out when you're looking at notification or usage of a uh, any kind of uh, basically uh, permission system manager here. So again, very simple. The dashboard is something that is very unique and it looks really nice. Scrolling screenshots are also something that needs to be currently enabled uh, that by default, it's not available directly in our system, but we are able to basically do screenshots, normal scrolling option, and it saves it directly into your gallery the same way as your normal screenshots work. Really, really nice. Now, the last thing we want to talk about is picture in picture. So I'm going to go ahead and reduce the volume down. I'm going to go ahead and play this video. And the intention here is essentially the ability of running picture in picture. This is something we've seen in the past. Uh, the ability of actually docking it or actually stashing it on the side is something that is new that we normally don't have access to. So the ability of actually kind of using it, uh, we still are able to basically use pinch and zoom. You can notice right there, I can actually zoom in and zoom out by using the, the actual pinch and zoom function for it. And of course, I can dock it if I don't need it. Uh, the main benefit, of course, is that this makes it a little bit easier for us to use that set functionality, which is very nice. The ability of using pinch and zoom as well as pinch on the corner of the image and expand and, of course, stashing it on the side so that we don't actually have to have the video in front of us to listen to it. And of course, we can still interact with the rest of the UI elements. The features that I'm sharing with you guys today are not available directly within the actual system UI. So that's one thing to keep in mind. They're hidden. So hopefully we'll be able to see them in the developer preview too, or even some of the betas. But uh, again, the guys over at XDA have done an amazing job being able to actually dig in and find a lot of more of those features. I'll give you guys a link, of course, to a, a nice list of articles if you guys are interested in seeing some of the other options that they were able to find. Let me know in the comments below, what do you guys think of the Android 12 new hidden features? Uh, and of course, hopefully we'll be able to see them all uh, materialize into true features in the either betas or even the final release of Android 12. Like and subscribe as usual. Thank you very much for the support. And of course, I'll see you guys in the next video.